All right, guys, <clears throat> what's going on? Let's make sure this is working. So today we're gonna do legs. Um, we're gonna probably start out with squats, which is something I normally don't do. Normally don't start out with squats. Uh, we're slipping on pre right now. Um, probably gonna go relatively heavy. I think I might do sets of, I don't know, four to eight. Probably 225, 275. Um, like I said, I haven't done squats in a decent amount of time. It's been a while. At least heavy squats. I haven't done heavy squats in a while. So we're gonna warm up. Probably gonna take about five minutes for me to really warm up. Um, probably work up, like I said, it's about 225 to 275. I've been having like a nagging left knee injury lately. I'm just thinking basic C4. Um, I've been having a left knee injury lately. Whenever I like fully extend my knee like that, I feel a sharp pain in my kneecap, so I don't want to push that too hard. Also, my left hip is bothering me. Um, it could be anything. Like I don't want to diagnose myself because it could literally, it could literally be anything. Um, but we're gonna go ahead get started. Um, like I said, probably work up to 275 for a few sets here. <clears throat> Not the best ankle mobility. Um, honestly, I've been like that my entire life. Whenever I start running, it tends to get a lot better, but I haven't ran. We're gonna go up to 95 here for another set. Um, whenever I start running, it loosens up a little bit, but I haven't been running lately, obviously. I'm looking a little thick, for lack of better terms. Sitting at like 225 right now. <clears throat> I almost just want to shoulder press this. <clears throat> I go a little bit wider on the barbell as well. Um, this is my shoulder mobi mobility. It's not the best, but a lot of times I just need to warm up and it usually loosens up a little bit. <clears throat> Move up to 135 here for another set of five. And then probably just jump up to 225. It's funny, whenever you're warming up, it's almost like, obviously, the slower you get to your working set, objectively speaking, I guess is better for you. Um, but I don't necessarily agree with that. If you, if your body's warmed up, and ready to go, like the muscles and the tendons are firing, you can move right into your working sets. Like you don't need to spend all day warming up for your working sets. Usually that first working set is going to be like the final warm up set as well. Because there's warming up to the weight, but then there's your body actually feeling the weight. That's why a lot of times you see people like bench press or squat, <clears throat> they get under weight that they can't do, especially with bench press. Like you unrack four or five, if you're going for 315, your body kind of shocks to that weight. All right, we're gonna go here for five. <clears throat> Our first set, 225. Probably go for six, eight reps.
I do have knee sleeves, but uh, if I sweat at all, I can't get them on. Um, also, they're not cheating, right? But you can really push a lot more weight with knee sleeves as well. Also, I feel like if I get over like 215, 220, my legs just get so much. Okay. Keep it nice and smooth here. Control it on the way down. See, that was rough. That's fucking awful. Zero to ten, I was like a, a three. That was tough. Probably use it as a top set, drop it down to 225. Probably do that for three more sets of six reps. All right, so we're going to move on to a glute hamstring focus movement. Obviously, we already did the quad focus, quote unquote focus. Right now, we're going to do more of a glute hamstring movement back here. Okay. <clears throat> So what we want to focus on here is we're going to do an RDL, Romanian deadlift. <clears throat> now this is a movement that I think, objectively speaking, it's very complicated. Well, actually, objectively speaking, it looks very simple. But to do it the right way, it does require a significant amount of form um, if you want to do it the right way. Right? You can also do things like elevate your toes, which is going to, um, apply more stretch into your hamstrings, right? And there's things that you can do to make it harder. But I, when I was doing the squats, there's a reason why I stopped doing squats. I felt something right here in my upper hamstring, kind of where it connects to my glute area, kind of pulled a little bit. So we don't need to make this harder. If anything, we should probably make it easier. If anything, we probably just shouldn't do it and we should just go focus on the quad extension and the hamstring curl. But Why would we do that when we can just keep lifting with barbells? Um, so we're just gonna do a quick set, about eight reps, probably do eight reps for everything. So it's different in a deadlift in the fact that you're not going all the way down. You're just keeping your knees slightly bent and I'm gonna pull up my long shirt here. So you're pushing your hips back like that, okay? While you're keeping the bar path to your shins. You're gonna find that if you're not doing this right, that bar is going to be 
inches away from your shins, which is not what we want. We want to keep that bar peeled up against our shins the entire time. So here we go. Okay. So push against the shins, push your hips back, slight bend your knee. Make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top. You can do this just as a hamstring movement if you wanted to, but I think you should go all the way. And you can also turn it into a glute movement by squeezing your, top, your glutes at your top, at the top. Two more. Probably go up a little bit in weight and go here for probably two or three more sets. Feels pretty good. All right, we're going to bump up to 185 here. Once again, this is not a deadlift. It's an RDL. Romania. Doesn't matter. Straight leg as well, you can call it. Um, if we're going to be completely honest, I think a dumbbell is actually a little bit better. Increasing that range of motion a little bit more, right? So you can actually get the dumbbells close to your side of your legs, which is just going to increase that range of motion just a little bit. But whenever you're working out, I mean, like a slight change to the biomechanics of the movement can make a huge difference, like a huge difference. Like you can do a bench press and not lock out. You're not activating nearly the amount of triceps that you could be if you locked out. It's a game of inches as they would say. Probably go here for eight reps. We'll say eight reps. Um, like I said, keep that barbell path close to your shins as we go. <clears throat> here we go. When I, when I did the squat, I made sure my, my shoulders and my feet were lined up pretty close to each other. Here, we kind of want to go the other way. We want our legs to be a lot closer, more narrow. And we're pushing, we're hinging at our hips back, okay? Probably do that for another set. All right. Nothing special here. Just a lot of reps. Probably do two sets. One pretty light, one super heavy. <clears throat> we'll do the pretty light one first. Just go 130 here. Just kind of keep going until my legs stop moving. Drop this to oh hell yeah. Um, we're gonna drop it to let's go 220. The max here is 230. Might be too much. Let's go 205. Um, I don't have a goal rep wise. I'm just gonna keep going essentially, and then. Probably split it in half. If I go to 115, if you're doing a drop set, you're gonna split it in half. So it's like, it's like 205. Like, don't choose the 100. Always choose the 105. All right, here we go. Ten reps. 
There's a seated hamstring curl over there. There's also a lying one here. I think I might use a lying one instead of the seated one. I don't like the placement of the pad on the seated one. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this machine right next to me. Finish up, finish up with hamstrings and then get out of here for dinner. All right, we're gonna go lying hamstring curls. I haven't tested this yet and I think it's Let's go down a little bit. This way. This way. Let's go negative one here. Let's go 100 pounds. And just honestly, just rep it out. One thing you can think of when you're doing hamstring curls is your toes, your big toe, depending on the position it is in, you're gonna hit a different part of your hamstring. I'd like to just stay in the neutral grip the entire time. So just my big toes flexed to my kneecap. So my left big toe trying to connect it to my kneecap. Same thing with my right one. Go up more here, 120. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Getting toasted, man. Toasted. Alright, we're gonna go here for one more set. <clears throat> no drops out with this one. My hamstrings are, my left one's tight. Hopefully, it's not too tight. <clears throat> here we go. guys we are done at the gym I've got to start my workout so I didn't get to close my rings but I still am going to be active today um, overall good workout I think it could have gone better um, I'm not I'm not too sure what I did to my hamstrings I'm really hoping I did nothing to them oh this kid's doing really well this uh, guy at the gym was telling me about a dude on Instagram who has 100,000 followers, and he does. The kid's doing really well. It's funny, man. Like, nowadays, you live in a world a world where you can, I don't know, you, like, you can change. You can change your whole life just with, like, this phone. You know, it's, it's really interesting. I'm just making sure it's recording. Um, it's really fascinating. Like, when I first started doing like YouTube and whatever, the podcast, the clothing company. I used to have a clothing company way back in the day, like 20, 2015, 2016, around that time. And like at the time, like, yeah, you could have, I'm going to go actually turn around because I don't want to hit all these speed bumps. You could grow on social media, but like there wasn't, like not everyone was doing it. And now it's like everybody does it. And there's nothing wrong with it, you know? I think the only time it can become like an issue is if you are like, you know, being rude about it, right? Like you're not paying attention to people around you or, you know, you're just kind of being over the top obnoxious with it. I don't think that's good. But like, if you have a phone, man, and like you're young, right? Like I, I make most of my, I mean, I mean 98% of my income comes from work, right? I put in time, I, I provide a service, a good service, and I get paid for that service, right? It's a trade-off. It's a basic trade-off. And that's, um, that's a service or a product for revenue. Nowadays, you can make revenue just with eyes, you know, like depending on the size of your following, whether it's, um, oh no, I think that person was shooting up back there. Oh no, that's not good. I think she was shooting up heroin. Um, you can grow just with like eyes, right? And everyone has a phone. And it's so fascinating like to live in a world where depending on the effort that you put into something it's automatically like instantly you know gratified to you 
I think it was beautiful, and I don't think enough people take advantage of it. It's so funny. Every time someone sees me filming or they watch my stuff or they bought a piece of clothing or they watch a podcast episode, whatever they did, I always, 100% of the time, without fault, I say, you should do one on your own. You just should. You just should. I don't see why you shouldn't be you shouldn't have a following on social media unless that's something you don't care about, you know, um, because you can determine on how private you want it to be and whatnot. I just think it's kind of, I think it doesn't make sense to not have some type of presence on social media. Um, especially since the world's just going to be going more in that direction. Um, anyways, I think overall the workout was good. I think I could have done a little bit more. So normally whenever I work out, I don't start with, um, squats, I usually don't start with compounds. I usually start out with like isolation movements, whether it's quad extensions and hamstring curls. That's usually what I go for go for at first. Um, but this time I kind of flipped it on its head. I don't know why exactly. I think I was just kind of excited to like get under weight. So I did. And I think I'm kind of paying for it now. I, I don't think I hurt my hamstrings, but I don't think like they're perfectly healed. Like I think there's definitely like a slight something to them. We'll see more tomorrow. Um, but overall, it was good. That 275 felt so heavy. I haven't, I haven't squatted over... I haven't squatted in of itself probably for... I don't know. Eight months? Nine months? And I definitely haven't squatted over 315 for years. So with that being said, I think it was, it was decent. I think I did 275 for a set of four or six. Um, Could have went better. Um, but I kind of use a squat, at least the way I squat, I use more of a close stance, higher bar squat. So it's more of a quad focused movement. Um, if you go more lower back, you use a little bit more lower back in a posterior chain. I wouldn't say hamstrings per se, but you definitely use more of your posterior chain that way. Um, so I kind of use my squats as my quad focused movement. And then I use my RDLs with the barbell as my glute hamstring focused movement. And those felt really good. Like those actually felt really good. And then that quad extension machine, I like that one a lot. The hoist ones, I'm not the biggest fan of, but those ones at the gym were really nice. Um, and then I used that hamstring curl machine, which was really good. And we just did four movements. And then I went over and I did some um, core. I don't normally work out core, but uh, I just want to kind of build up my, my core, right? Because I'm not, the reason why I usually don't do core is because I do so much of um, the power movements, squat, bench, and dead. But I haven't been deadlifting like at all and I haven't been squatting. Sorry about that noise, it's my belt. I haven't been squatting heavy or deadlifting heavy lately. So I'm not activating my core as I used to be when I was doing my, you know, the power movement. So I need to just kind of make sure I'm still engaging my core. Um, so I did, you know, a few, they have like this little, it's like an ab coaster. You kind of like your elbows are above you, like kind of like in little pads, and you you're like on a sliding seat. It's like a it's like a seesaw for your core, and I, I was doing that. You kind of just drive your knees up to your stomach, and I did that for core. I think I did like I didn't I didn't do sets. I just did one huge set of 50 reps, and I did like 20, then 10, then 10, 10, whatever. Um, but overall, it was a good workout. <clears throat> it felt good. Felt good to be at that gym. I'm definitely gonna get a gym membership to Crofton in Golds, uh, which I, you know, I've never, um, I've been there once with, with Zach and Nick post um, construction. I used to go there pretty often, like probably when I was at, when I was in college and I was going back and forth between Towson, I would stop in Crofton sometimes and go to the gym before I went home after school because I, I, I drove back and forth. And uh, I would stop there and that was pre-construction and it wasn't nearly as nice. But now, man, it's like, I feel myself getting back into working out too, which is like, you know, I've been doing it for a decade over, more than a decade. And you kind of go in and out of these spouts of like, I feel good, I don't feel good. Like, and that's, that's normal. And I'm, I, for the longest time I was out, just wasn't feeling good. And now I feel good again. I feel like I'm falling in love with the gym again. And it, it's a good position for me to be in. Um, hopefully I stay in it for an extended period of time. Um, so I'm gonna get a membership there little bit busier but they don't seem to give two rats asses if you film um so i'm gonna probably film there um, i hope you guys are enjoying this style of content it's it's fun for me to do and i know it's it's pretty much just completely ripping sam Silic, but 
I love what he does. You know, I love I love the way he films, and it's kind of it's kind of funny. It's kind of the way I've always filmed. I just haven't been doing it as much. Um, so I'm doing it again. It, it's fun. It's good. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't I don't really have much more to talk about. I don't want to just keep rambling on. I uh, I got AirPods now, so I can listen to music in both ears, which makes it so much easier. But yeah, we're gonna. I will end this vlog here, or end this video here, and I'm gonna turn on some. Uh, respect the game by Meek Mill. We're gonna respect the game by Meek Mill, and then um, I'll catch you guys on Wednesday or Sunday. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.